I am Dr. Satesh. I am a senior consultant surgeon in the Department of Minimal Access Surgery, Metabolic Surgery, and General Surgery at Columbia Asia Referral Hospital, Ashwantpur, Bangalore. The after effects of splenectomy are very commonly there is an injury to the tail of the pancreas because the tail of the pancreas is very close to the spleen. As a result of which, there can be a pancreatic fistula or a distal tail of the pancreas pancreatitis. The other complications would be immediately in the postoperative phase, there may be a torrential bleed. Then we would have to get into the abdomen and do a lavage and then take control of the bleeding. The other complication would be a basal atelectasis and a difficulty in breathing and basal pneumonia. One of the complications that is very commonly seen is gastric dilatation and a gastric fistula. If the stitches are applied very close to the fundus of the stomach in taking the short gastric vessels. The other complications very common to other laparoscopic procedures like injury to the small intestine or the large intestine. And one final complication that may happen is an opogenistic infection possibly after splenectomy called OPSI, wherein the patient is known to develop some infections with encapsulated uh, organisms like uh, pneumococcal and meningococcal. And so they would have to be on pneumococcal and meningococcal vaccines. Of course, there is no need for the patient to panic in terms of uh, developing infections very soon. They need to seek attention with the physician or the operating surgeon as soon as a splenectomy is done and the patient develops fever or there is abdominal pain associated with fever. There can be a collection there or it can be an infection with pneumococcal or meningococcal vaccine.